سورت الرعد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام ميم را تلك آيات الكتاب والذي أنزل إليك من ربك الحق ولكن يدبر الأمر يفصل الآيات لعلكم بلقاء ربكم توقنون بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful Alif, Lam, Mim, Ra These are the verses of the book. And what has been revealed to you from your Lord is the truth. But most of the people do not believe. It is Allah who has set up the heavens without pillars that you can see. Then He established Himself above the throne and made subject the sun and the moon. He subjected the sun and the moon, each running its course for a specified term. He arranges each matter. He details the signs that you may of the meeting with your Lord be certain. Allah is the one who is managing the affairs. of this entire universe. He has subjected the sun, the moon, each is going on its course. يُدَبِّرُ الْأَمْرُ He manages the affairs. The affairs of who? Of who? Of everything? Everyone. What about your life? What about your health? Allah manages that. Allah has full control over it. And the story of Yusuf a.s. is a perfect example of that. That if something happens in your life, it can only happen by... Allah's will. And if you are suffering from something, only Allah can remove it from you. And if some good Allah has decreed for you, no one, no one can take it away from you. Not those who throw you in a well, not those who put you in a prison, not those who accuse you falsely. Nobody can take away some good that Allah has decreed for you. Allah is the one who has full control over the affairs of this entire universe. In fact, He is the one who when he wills, then something happens. Without his will, nothing happens. And it is he who has spread the earth and placed therein firmly set mountains and rivers. And from all of the fruits he made therein two mates. He causes the night to cover the day. Indeed, in that are signs for people who give thought. So look at the creation and think. If Allah is managing these mountains and these trees. You know, somebody once told me, that they went on this huge ice field. All right? And next to that ice field were massive mountains. And she said when she was standing there, she walked really far on that ice field, and then there's massive mountain. She said, I felt myself so small. So small. And then she said, I realized that if Allah controls these mountains, if Allah has created, He is looking after the affairs of this massive creation, then what I want from Allah is not difficult for Him to give. If He can create these massive mountains, can He not give me the little that I want? He can. So reflect on the creation. لِقَوْمِ يَتَفَكَّرُونَ Because when you reflect on the creation, that is when you get iman, when you strengthen your iman. You get sabr, you get shukr, you have hope. And within the land are neighboring plots and gardens of grapevines and crops and palm trees growing several from a root or otherwise. One root and so many plants are coming out of there. Or one root and one plant is coming, one stem. Watered with the same water, but we make some of them exceed others in quality of fruit. Indeed, in that are signs for people who reason. 
And if you are astonished, then astonishing is their saying. When we are dust, will we indeed be brought into a new creation? Those are the ones who have disbelieved in their Lord. And those will have shackles upon their necks. And those are the companions of the fire. They will abide therein eternally. Because they shackled themselves with slavery to this world. They did not allow themselves to open up their eyes and look up and look at the creation of Allah, reflect on it and realize Allah's power through that. They shackled themselves, their pride shackled them in the hereafter, in hellfire, they will be shackled.